Randomly, we got another update that buffed the SVA 545, and oh my days, this thing was already busted, but now it's a Johnny Sins on the map, and to prove that, I dropped multiple MGBs and hundreds of kills. Gades and Lens, this SVA was already a meta gun to where it was banned in rank play, but then they buffed it. They buffed the damage range, making this thing kill a lot quicker at range. If you like Warzone, this thing is insanely good on Rebirth Island. Exact build, you don't really gotta change anything, so... I wasn't going to add the precision barrel since, you know, we would use this to bring up the damage range. This thing just got a damage range buff, so we already have like a new built-in barrel. But you know, I was like, let's throw it on. And holy, the ball velocity increase that we have now with that new damage range, that's when you're going to feel the true real power behind the weapon. Look at the headshot damage. We're doing 42 damage per shot up to 50 meters with the ball velocity of almost a thousand. There's no recoil. This is actually my favorite gun and favorite build in the entire game. We also get a lot of recoil control yes there are some cons but the main con is like our accuracy which that's not going to affect us whatsoever and so you basically just have a super weapon now by the way if you want everything in modern warfare 3 legitimately then i would check out guapsi they will plan your account to unlock anything you desire and that goes for warzone multiplayer zombies and many other games i have also never seen a single negative review i'll have their link down in the description so now we have a lot more range, but there's still going to be a little bit of a bouncy recoil. I was going to go over and add the main V6 stock, which is why I usually add because this is one of the best stocks for recoil control. We can look at that recoil gun kick 21%. So if you want the gun to actually have zero recoil, like negative, your grandma could use it, run the main. But what I'm going to be rocking instead is going to be the Citadel grip. This one's going to increase that gun kick control like that stock. It also gives us ADS speed and we get some more just base recoil control with the biggest con is that we are losing flinch resistance resistance but if we go over to our perks and for the gloves i'm running scavenger since i was going for a nuke but if i'm trying to do the best i'll run the marksman because this is going to reduce the flinch that you in that you take in and that's also going to reduce the overall sway so you pair up the marksman with the sva over here and it's going to be crazy even if you're on war zone it's this is still going to be a really good rear grip to run and then uh, so now we have actually no recoil and a lot of range from here we are just going to be making the weapon a little bit more you know just fluid and nice that being said we're going to be going over to the underbarrel and we are going to be adding the dr6 hand stock this is just going to increase that mobility allowing you to move around quicker you can strafe quicker remember to aim you want to use your left stick not your right stick this is going to help you do so and then we also can pull up the gun after sprinting so overall you could just play a little bit more aggressive and pull up the weapon a little bit quicker which is going to be pretty helpful because i do prefer to run a magazine on this thing and uh, there is some other variations I'll give you if you don't need a magazine. If you're playing Warzone, if you're really slow, I would run the 60. Uh, 45 should be good, though, so you can still move around pretty quick. Up to you, though. For me, in multiplayer, I really do like the 45-round magazine. And then uh, I'm just going to show you guys in the firing range right here that this thing, very fast ADS speed, good movement speed. And there is actually no recoil on the gun so easy to use so last detachment really up to you you could even take off the underbarrel the main part of this build is just to have the barrel and the rear grip the barrel and the rear grip could take off the rear grip for the stock just have those things from here it really doesn't matter what you add that's why it's one of my favorite guns it doesn't matter how, how you build it if you're uh, playing wars and you might want to add the spirit fire suppressor so you're off the radar you have a little bit more range if you're on multiplayer then i would definitely rock the shadow strike suppressor if you want to be off the radar sonic is also good but i don't think you need even more damage range you could it'd be a little bit too od but uh, you know, feel free to run the Sonic on there. And then another one that's pretty good for recoil control that I almost ran on the build, but then I realized like, I don't even need this. This is gonna be the compensated flash hider. We all know it's the best muzzle for recoil control without really hurting the weapon too much. And so that one's really good, but I don't think you really need it. Uh, I wouldn't really add a laser. Ammunition, very good high ground rounds. You can make this thing have over a thousand bowl velocity and then have the effective damage range up to 57.5. Definitely try out the high green. Just there's a little bit more recoil on the gun. So you might have to take off the rear grip to go ahead and add the main. That's what I'm giving you you guys variations just so you guys can have some fun this one's insane oh my god i really wanted to run it really really did want to run it but i just hate those iron sights and so i'm going to be running the jack and glassless optic you guys can see also gives us fire name and stability and just a very clean like cyborg looking sight and so this one you guys should be able to pop off with it's gonna make it so there's actually less recoil now too and the gun should be super easy to use. This is the one I'm rocking in the gameplay. I absolutely love it. Um, I There's so many different builds for it. Like, I could take off the rear grip, the high grain, or a muzzle. Like, I'm going to be making a lot of videos on the SVA. There's so many different things that you could do. All right, here's the best Renetti build, in my opinion. This thing goes crazy. And then, yeah, even after the nerf, that thing's still really good. Running the compression carrier because it has quick fix built in. allows you to play more aggressive. And then I have the scavenger gloves on because I can't run the field upgrade. Running sneakers because that compression carrier, I can't use infantry. So I want to be able to tax for longer. 
bigger map so i'll run the covert sneakers and then mag holster because i was playing so aggressive i needed to reload very quickly and eod like i really haven't been dying from nades so i don't really rock eod anymore you could even run ghost if you don't want to be on the right or be a little bit more stealthy but let's get into it now bro this thing is incredible like it was already so good but now it's like so good Damn it, dude. I really thought they were going to start spawning on the other side because typically they don't spawn in the same place twice. And so I look pretty faded right there. And I just missed the entire snap. God damn it. Okay. Yo. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, what? Keech? What the fuck? Why is he in the game? I didn't know they got... Oh, no, no, no. Calm down. Calm down, buddy. Thank you. I didn't know they added the Kongs. Nope. You get out of here. The Renati got nerfed, but the thing is still amazing. See, they should be over there now, but it looks like spawns are flipping. Oh, 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 get me out of that. Okay, teammates, I need you guys to all push forward. No, 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 buddy, come on, Big Rob, left stick forward, bitch. Left stick forward, let's go. Go, 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 go. That was a close one. Yeah, that was a close one. Right here would be a great time to pop the advanced UAV, so I'm not going to pop it. Remember, you got to hit the first two shots on the enemy for it to be good. <laughs> you got to hit the first two shots for it to be good. I don't know where they're at. I need to call it in. I'm too scared. I'm nervous. Yo, if you haven't already followed my kick, if you want to see gameplays live, well, stop by the YouTube stream, but I'm also streaming on kick a little bit more. That's a war zone over there if you like that war zone. If you want to see me, I'll sauce up some war zone. More sea bass if you want to see YouTube. Oh, he did the pre-fire method. What a bitch. He doesn't even have a UAV up. He just knew. Three, two, one. Okay, man, this is kind of cracked. <sighs> that, that, that AFK guy you know, threw me off. Because if I didn't go for him, he would have been AFK. He was only AFK because I was trying to get him. I need to get this other guy to leave. Bro, look at that. Nasty. There we go, boys. No, Cheech, I just need a joint, man. I don't have any ammo. I need something to numb the pain of no ammo. We got that. Wait, do I think I scavenger on, right? Yeah, I got scavenger. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to jump. This thing was really good until it didn't kill right there. Bombs everywhere. Swerve, please. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. No, I'm not. I'm just lying. I'm just... Team, why are you hitting me? Check your UAV. Yo, shut the fuck up. I thought I was dead. I literally gave up. That's why you never give up. Larry! No, that yo, one, two, three guy. I don't like him. I actually don't like him at all. No damage. What the hell is going on? Calm down with those therm nades. They're just rolling around. They're like little pipe bombs. Upper chest headshots. Down. 
Stop! Go fuck yourself! EMP, come on. It takes so long to call the EMP. So I'm just sitting here. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. Okay, that man... With these spawns. It was your one, two, three trying or something? Wait, no, that was a different guy. I'm better than you, bitch. I'm better than you and you're about to get fucking nuked. That's an MGB. And that's just an MGB. Let's go. Leave a like and subscribe because we got the MG motherfucking B. Bro, why the hit fire never works when you need it to work. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's see if we can get another nuke, but we're going to put this on semi-automatic. I know in Warzone... Oh, he got dogged on. It's better to have it on semi-automatic. So let's try it out in multiplayer. Well, fuck the thing in semi-automatic. Yeah, no, just using full auto. Decoys? Bro, that actually worked really well against me. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. We got to take it off. So, next map, though, we're going to be going on to some big maps. A very, very big map. We're going to drop a crazy MGB. Spawn chop it on a big map. That's the goal. That's the goal after this one. What just happening? Yo, the one, two, three guy, he was like an NPC at first, but now he's like sweating. Damn it, dude. Oh, I need like... I need to be able to throw my stuff a little bit quicker. Damn it, we still can maybe get another one. We're getting a lot of kills, though. I'm just going for high kills. Like, going for a nuke, but, like, more so high kills. But like, a fast nuke. Oh, that was actually massive for me to stay alive right there. As long as we keep on getting into engagements, it's going to be a high kill game. We just need to keep the engagements up. Let's do another swarm. There's someone shooting at me. Let's do the EMP. Three, Larry. So you got some big balls to see me and still go for the throwing knife. We're at 130 kills right now. I might be able to hit 200. Might be able to do it. But I need to get the kills faster. Oh, 
No, okay, okay, okay. We might not be able to hit 200 now, specifically because of that. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh, never mind. I, I thought we had way more time. Bro, this is a insane gameplay. I love when they play aggressive. Yo, as long as we capture the objective, we still have a long time. I just need to stay in this, and we're good. No, that guy needs to not get in there. At 10 seconds, I gotta call this in. I can't risk it past 10. Advanced UAV. I'm always slow calling in my streaks because I want to make sure I don't call the wrong one in. Teammate, die, please. Twelve seconds. I gotta keep watching the clock. No, I gotta call it then. Now, not it's not. It's gonna be too risky. Hey, but boys, we're actually going insane right there. Bro, if I was doing that since the beginning of the match to get our score to like 240, because I need the enemy team to have like 240, my team to have 240, and like no time left on the clock if I want to, you know, maximize the amount of kills I'm getting. God damn, dude. Yo, actually, though, leave a like and subscribe with the noties on if you want to see more of this stuff. That was insane. How many kills did I get? For that though, let's see if they got anything to say. Bro, what happened, guys? What happened there? Oh my god. Bro, 170 at 15? Bro, you just sucked my dick. Hello, hello, hello. Shit. Bro, why do I always do that? I usually just immediately leave the game, but like I got my favorite map, so I gotta stay. I think in my last video I did the same combo. Sorry guys, I'm just playing whatever I enjoy. Whatever I enjoy, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna shoot what you guys want. I'm so sorry, but I'm just, I just do strictly what I want. And if you like it, you like it. Okay, let's see if we get a crazy MGB right now. Let's get an insane one. I don't know if it's gonna be better than that last one. Actually, no, we're gonna get one that's better. Bro, this thing is so fluid. I love the SVA. Am I actually? I think it is my favorite AR in the game. I have all the ARs. This one's definitely my favorite. MCW is nice, but it's also dog. Actually, I take that back. MCW with the Jack Raven kit, I like more. Without using aftermarket parts, I like this one. Oh, I shit myself. IRL. No, we're good, though. It wasn't too milky. Sorry. Not again. Not round two. Thermites too. You know the next Call of Duty should actually be great as well. Because this Call of Duty is amazing and it's basically like a DLC. But it's like amazing, you know? In my opinion, anyways. So if this Call of Duty is good and the next one's actually done, it has four years of development. I don't, we haven't had a Call of Duty that actually had a full development cycle in the past like five years. I think... I, I think... Modern Warfare 2019 was the last time we had a Call of Duty that was like fully finished on release. All the other ones were all rushed out and everything. So that means probably the Call of Duty after this next one's going to be dog shit, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's, well, it's supposed to be Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward for the next Call of Duty, not the... Well, okay, not the next one. The next one's Black Ops Gold 4, which is made by Treyarch. They always switch. So this... Okay, sorry. There's three developer teams. You have Sledgehammer, Treyarch, and Infinity Ward. They all kind of like intertwine on each Call of Duty with different roles, but they all take different... They alternate taking leads. For example, last... Dude, get off me, get off me, get off. Last year, it was... Uh, that was Infinity Ward. 
which nobody liked Infinity War because they're a fan of like making games really slow, cater to casuals, make sure footsteps are allowed. Sledgehammer made this call of duty. And next year it is... Oh my god, I didn't have any ammo. Next year it's going to be Treyarch. And then after that, it's going to go back to Infinity Ward. So I'm a little bit nervous for the Call of Duty after this one. I mean, wait, I'm so lost because this guy's trying to hunt me down. And I want to make sure he doesn't hunt me down. I had the war. Imagine if I was a commentary YouTuber. I don't mean to hide in here, but there's someone trying to hunt me down. It's that guy. And there's no flu and I can't get a kill. That means I got to play more aggressive. That's what happens when you slow down, boys. One more kill, come on. There's the MGV. Let's go, guys. Oh my god, dude. That was, that was actually making me nervous. So, next Call of Duty should be good no matter what. Treyarch always listens to the community, does everything that we as players want, which is what this Call of Duty is also doing. So, Sledgehammer, Treyarch, they always make good Call of Duties. Infinity Ward always thinks that they know what's best every time. So that's why I'm nervous for the Call of Duty after the next one because Infinity Ward's making that one. And they, you know, no one really liked Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 looked cool. It was kind of like a, a really hot chick, massive tits, fat ass, but with a horrible personality and you never want to be around them. So it looked amazing, felt great. <laughs> it was just, you never want to be around them. But it's like, you know, you kind of want to, you know, you want to experience it, but you would never marry that one. And so that's how Infinity War games are. So if they listen to the community, it could actually be... It could be really, really good for the franchise. Because they make beautiful games and the games always feel amazing. It's just they have a horrible movement and things like that. So as long as they don't do that, we actually could have a crazy Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty's had like a dry spell for a bit, but it seems like they're trying to get out of that dry spell. And they realize by just listening to the community, they're good. With the SPMM and stuff like that, it's always never going to be back to where it was. And... God damn it, dude. I hate those things so much. You know what? Let's EMP them before I call on this MGB. Let's uh, do the advanced UAV so I know where they're at. This is the guy who was beating everyone up. Is he waiting? Watch, he's waiting, but I'm just going to pre-fire him. And I get him. He probably thinks I'm hacking. MGB, MGB. Oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh my god, dude. I think it's like first to 125. I mean, 120. Get nuked. Get nuked. I bet he's going to leave the game. Just do damage. Just do damage right there. Bro, that was nasty. That was a fast-ass MGB, too. That was really fast. That was an MG motherfucking B. Sit the fuck down. No more knifing. Get slammed.